Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. You're watching our video review of the Lenovo IdeaPad A2109 Android tablet. It's available right now. You can pick it up through Best Buy for $300 for the 16GB Wi-Fi only version. This is the first time we're reviewing an Android tablet from Lenovo, so we're kind of excited about it. It has some decent hardware. For example, it packs a quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor, and on top of that, it features a 9-inch WXGA display. In terms of design, the IdeaPad A2109 doesn't really buck the trend. It has a very conventional looking design, pretty much the same as anything out there, but we do like its choice of materials. It has a brushed metallic casing, which gives it a lot of durability and a clean look. But unfortunately though, it is rather chubby for a 9-inch tablet. On top of that, it packs a lot of weight, and doesn't help when the corners are a little bit sharp, so it doesn't make for the best grip when holding it. Clearly differentiating itself from the pack out there, the tablet features a 9-inch WXGA LCD panel, so that's 1280 by 800 pixels, which is the norm for most 10-inch tablets out there. So in terms of details, it's really good. Of course, you can make out fine text, not a problem at all. But what's at fault here is that Lenovo decided to use a very poor quality display. It just has some horrendous viewing angles, which washes out very easily. On top of that, it has some bleeding edges. And finally, it's nearly impossible to view in outdoor conditions. Unfortunately, with the dedicated power button, which is located on top edge of the uh, tablet, it's very flat in feel, so it's indistinct, and on top of that, the response is very weak. However, the uh, volume control is a little bit more distinct in feel, but still lacking in the response. Also on the left edge of the tablet, we have the orientation lock switch, the microphone, and 3.5mm headset jack. Well, on the right edge, we have the uh, micro HDMI out port to get video out, and you also have micro USB port for charging data connectivity, and also a secondary microphone. And finally, in the rear of the tablet, it features two speakers, left and right channels. It has a SRS WOW HD sound. You have a 3 megapixel camera there. The bill is shoot 1080p videos, while in the front, there's a front-facing 1.3 megapixel camera. And it's worth noting that there's no micro SD card slot with the tablet. As you can probably tell, the IdeaPad A2109 features a slight customization on top of Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. You can tell by the uh, 3D-like cube effect, which has been used many times before, so not really entirely impressed by that. But the thing that we like are these Lenovo widgets here. When you select one of them, they kind of expand to give you pertinent detail. Again, really nice touch to the overall look and feel of the uh, platform, giving itself you know, a slight distinction versus others out there. And as a whole, you still have all the lovable customization aspects of Android intact. When it comes to typing on messages with the on-screen keyboard on the tablet, we didn't have any issues using the stock Android keyboard here. It's more than responsive, though the smaller real estate makes us a little bit more cautious with our rate and input. As a secondary option, there's also the Go keyboard. Unfortunately, unfortunately though, it's not as practical to use just because it's just basically a smartphone keyboard that's been stretched out. Fortunately, the tablet's packing some really nice hardware under the hood. It features a 1.2 GHz quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor coupled with 1 GB of RAM. You can tell here with the live wallpaper, it's still moving very fast and fluid. And pretty much in all tasks and operations, it handles very easily. We rarely saw it slowing down whatsoever. Other basic tasks such as opening up applications, pinch zooming, it's pretty much instantaneous with its uh, performance. Out of the box, you'll have two choices for web browsing. You'll have either Google's Chrome or the uh, stock Android browser. If you want Flash, of course, you want to stick with the latter. And as far as the performance, it's really good here. You can tell pinch gestures, other navigational controls, very instantaneous and fluid. It manages uh, Flash content relatively well, and it rarely slows down or lags. And overall, you really get that great desktop-like experience. Well, it's nothing out of the ordinary with the tablet's music player. It's actually the stock of uh, Google Play Music Player here, so you have that really nice presentation. As far as the audio quality with its two speakers, though, it's kind of weak with its overall output, and the equalizer settings available to it do very little to enhance the quality. Not a shock at all, the tablet managed to play all the videos we threw at it. DivX videos, MPEG-4, H.264, and even XVID. The one here is encoded in DivX 1920 by 1080 resolution. You could tell moving very quickly and smooth, so it's great with that. But unfortunately, just because the display is very poor quality, it doesn't really make for the best viewing experience. As we mentioned before, tablets are probably the last thing you're going to want to use to take photos, but as a last resort, you have them. So the Lenovo IdeaPad A2109 features a 3 megapixel camera, and you'll probably want to forget ever using it, just because its quality is exceptionally poor. Very muddy-looking details, colors are kind of washed out, and it fails to do anything in low-lighting conditions. 
Equally as horrendous is the tablet's 1080p video recording. It suffers from some very muddy looking details, kind of faint, indistinct, but even worse is just the uh, really slow frame rate that captures that. 12 frames per second, it looks like everything's just moving exceptionally slow and overall it's a uh, far cry from anything high definition. As for Wi-Fi connectivity, we're happy to say that it manages to maintain a solid connection to a hotspot that's located 30 feet away and we rarely saw it fluctuating. Additionally, battery life is more than agreeable to, with our usage. Uh, we're able to get out at least a solid day with a normal usage. For power users though, you'll probably want to still charge it nightly before you go to bed, just so that the next day you'll be at a good level. We gotta admit, Lenovo does a valiant effort with the IdeaPad A2109. It might not compete with some of the more renowned tablets out there, like the Google Nexus 7 or the iPad 3, but it does offer a lot of value for the buck. At $300 for a 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi version, it's more than more than reasonable for anyone with a tight budget out there. If you're not looking for something that's the latest and greatest in all aspects, uh, there's something you want to take a look at. So if you'd like to learn more about the Lenovo IdeaPad A2109, guys, you could check out our website, PhoneArena.com. This is John V. Again, thanks for watching.